Good morning, KG3. In this lesson, we're going to learn all about subjects and verbs. Every complete sentence has two parts, the subject and the predicate. The subject is the naming part that tells who or what the sentence is about, and the predicate is the action part that tells what the subject did. And remember, the subject can name a person, an animal, a thing, or a place. The predicate usually begins with a verb. The action word in a sentence is called a verb. Let's practice and identify the subject and the verb. In the sentence, John thinks, who or what the subject is about, John is the subject. And the word sinks is the verb. The word sinks names the action the subject does. Look at this sentence. The children walk. Who or what the sentence is about? The children is the subject. And the word walk is the verb. The word walk names the action the subject does. The subject and the verb have to agree with each other. What does that mean? That means if the subject is singular, then the verb has to be singular. And if the subject is plural, then the verb has to be plural. Read the sentence with me. Ben jumps. The subject in this sentence names one person. It's singular. The verb jumps has an S at the end. Here's something important to remember about a singular verb. A singular verb always has an S at the end. So, you must add an S to the verbs when they tell about a noun that names just one. Now, read the sentence with me. The boys jump. The subject of this sentence names more than one. Boys is a plural noun. And jump is a plural verb. The verb jump doesn't have an S at the end. So we have a plural noun and a plural verb. So our subject and verb agree with each other. That means if the subject is plural, then the verb has to be plural. And remember, when a noun subject names more than one, you don't add an S to the verb. Thank you for listening.